All right, so first of all, I do apologize. The image is out of focus. My phone is, yeah, that's crap. Anyways, um, I made this up, okay? I just cut the wood out from, uh, my neighbor actually gave me some wood yesterday. So I cut, I cut it out. It's actually a lighter stain than I would have liked. But I went ahead and I stained it up. I just got some screws in here that I happen to have. I, I got some washers in here that I happen to have. Turns out I'm going to have to make another one right below it. But you can see, rather than having everything in... Uh, I'm not going to show you my dirty kitchen. I've got this little, uh, this little thing that I ordered. And that had everything in it. So... Um, and we gradually have accumulated stuff. And this makes it a whole lot easier to find stuff right away. You don't have to sift through a drawer. You don't have to sift through whatever. I've got a, a blank hook, two blank hooks there, blank hook there, blank, and blank. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to make up another one. Now, what I did is I, I actually cut these pieces at 26 inches. Okay, they're both 26 inches. Sand them down. Um, I drilled out the holes for the screws. I think I used a quarter inch drill bit in my uh, bench top drill press. This side here is screwed into uh, a stud. This side here is anchored down. Okay, now the first one I mounted, I, when I put this up, I made a little 45 degree jig, which, uh, let me show you. As you get to look at my dirty kitchen, I made a little 45 degree jig. I just cut it with with my multi tool. Um, and as I as I put the nails in at 45, I I did a chalk line from this hole to this hole because of course I measured it and I I drilled these holes on center um, and I did a chalk line all the way down and. Um, I was nailing everything in at 45, but some of these handles are so fat that 45 would have put it right here. So after I nailed it in, I just used my hammer and I knocked it down a little bit. So um, this, you know, something that you can you can do. Uh, I was gonna paint uh, just paint these black, these pieces of wood. I was gonna paint them black, but I'm like, you know what? After I sanded it down, I saw how pretty it looked. Actually, on one of these, I forget, I'm not sure which one. You you won't be able to see it in the camera because it's all fuzzy. Oh, this phone sucks. But there's uh, some saw marks. I sanded everything down, but there's some saw marks that I, I didn't sand out. I, I guess I just missed it, whatever. But... Um, yeah, this, so this is just something that you can do at home. Um, I just cut the pieces down with my circular saw. Um, originally I wanted to use one by three. I thought I had one by three. I went to see my neighbor. He had this, he took some, he took some pallets apart that he had stored in his backyard. And these are the cleanest pieces. So I, 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 I took the na nails and staples and brads out. And I, uh, I just sanded it down, got it all nice and clean. I threw some stain on it, uh, like two coats of stain, I think. And I think three, three coats of varnish. Uh, like I said, before I stained it, I, I had these holes drilled. Um, so, you know, that's something quick, cheap, and easy that you can use for your utensils. You know, the, the hardest thing for me was finding a spot in the kitchen to put these. And this this area right here just makes the most most amount of sense to me. So, uh, again, this is just a video showing you something you can do. You can just throw it together. The, the, obviously, the longest time was when I put the stain on. I had to wait and then stain it again and wait. And when you put the varnish on, you got to wait, you know, a good six hours um or so so um that was the longest part of this whole process and you can see i got my knives there whatever i've got an alarm system on the house i'm not worried about and i got two of these guys so 
Um, anyways, that's just something, like I said, give you an idea, especially right now. This We've got the COVID going on. Today is the, what, the 17th of April or something like that. Uh, we got the COVID-19 going on right now. People can't leave. I'm fortunate. I can leave during the week. I, ha- I actually have a job where I have to go out. I work in the security industry. I have to go make sure people are safe. Banks, in particular, are safe. Um, so anyways, uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and, and share it. Um, any comments are greatly appreciated. Give me a like. And if, if not so already, go ahead and feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you.